Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you remember six months back, we built a human presence sensor using LD2410 and ESP32 board. And I mentioned a use case where you can use this sensor to build a LED strip that follows you as you move. So one of the use cases of that is that you can install it on your stairways or you can also install it outdoors. And as you move up the stair or down the stairs, the lights actually follows you. So it does not light up the entire strip. Instead, it lights up like 30, 40 or 50 LEDs to follow you as you move and they light up your path. So it makes easy for you to move and it also looks really, really good. And the best part, it does not require any Wi-Fi connection. But I would recommend that you go with the ESP32 because I have built a web app through which you can control the settings and this is the version one that i'm talking about i'm already working on version two and there will be a lot more features in that guys before we move ahead i have only one request please like this video if you find this helpful in any way this is going to support me and keep me motivated to create and come up with such projects this takes a lot of time and effort so yeah however you can support please do that and continue the development of these smart home and diy projects now let's go back to the video so currently you can uh, assign number of leds that you have installed uh, the distance you want to for which you want it to measure so you can adjust and tune these settings and make sure that the effect works well in your environment or wherever you are going to install it then i've also added support to change the rgb colors i mean you can also change the color you can keep it white or you can change it to any color that you like so that's the version one and as i said it does not need any wi-fi connection so you don't have to connect it to wi-fi router you can install it anywhere where you don't even have wi-fi network and you will still be able to control it because it runs on ap mode and you just have to connect to the ap and after that you have to go to 192.168.4.1 to manage all these settings and it's very easy to build if you have followed that video you are halfway already there all you have to do is just connect this connector to the esp32 board then you can also provide a dc jack or a usb type c uh, input power supply to provide the power to this board and you're done now let's go to the connections and the programming i'm going to show you how it's all done and it's it's very very easy and intuitive so let's get started now to build this project we need a prison sensor i mean we can use ld2410c or this is 2410c but you can also use ld2420 and that is more preferable because that can detect distance up to eight meters we will enclose this into this case and the next thing we need is a ws2812b this is rgb addressable rgb led strip and this has two ends uh, one is male and this is female and another is male so this is where uh, the data comes in we can use the other end which is the male we can basically create a connector from this which will then connect to this so let's just take this out so we'll cut this so let's just cut this down we have this white one this is negative this is the data pin and this is the dc 5 volt plus so this is stand is done we'll do the same for this dc jack this is also done next now the connections will be like this the positive will go to red wire the negative will go to this and these both will also connect to the sensor uh, it has so this has 5 volt and gnd so this will go to this and we can use any of the pins available here as a data pin so what we'll do is we'll use pin number five uh, for the data pin right this will be a bit tricky if you are using case like this small if you can go with a bigger one a little uh, bigger one uh, that will be much more easier for you to do this make sure we are like perfectly connected you can use some flux to make sure the connections are like proper so this is done 
the data bin now let's connect the power pins so we'll connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative so these connections are done and this is all you need to do now we are going to push it and also like pull these wires from both sides so once this is done we can close it and we can then connect the led strip directly to this so let me just show you you can connect to this and this to a dc power socket like this now to power this what i am going to do is i have this uh, old micro usb which is like damaged so i'm going to repurpose it and reuse it with a 5 volt dc phone charger adapter we don't have to use the white and the green one we only need red and black we'll insulate it using some tape and this is 5 volt supply so there's no risk of any shock or anything so it's completely safe to use so this is done our power supply is done now all we have to do is uh, flash the program to this uh, microcontroller which is I'm using ESP32 C3 Super Mini and uh, I'm going to flash this custom firmware that I've uh, sketched all you have to do is first connect this to your PC using type C cable and by the way you don't necessarily have to install this DC jack to your sensor mode you can just install this connector to your uh, sensor board that we created but you can also provide the power supply to the led strip other end i mean wherever this is ending because this has power cables on both the sides so you can connect any side and since this is going to be connected to this uh, port so this is going to provide the power to the board as well so yeah you don't need this but if you have a power connection where you are going to install this sensor uh, on your staircase then you need to install this and then you can provide a power and you can use any 5 volt 2 ampere or 3 ampere power supply because we are not going to light up the entire strip that's not what we are going to do so any power supply 5 volt 2 amp 3 amp basically you must be having any old phone charger or adapter so you can repurpose that so next we have to connect this to the pc and then open the command prompt now if you are using windows you have to open command prompt otherwise uh, terminal or ubuntu users can also use the command line uh, we are anyway are going to use the command line tools to flash this chip so first we are going to connect this to the usb then if you have arduino ide installed that will make it easier to find the com port but you can also press so you can press windows x key and then here you will find device manager you have to go there and then you will find ports com port usb serial device you will see this shows com port you can also disconnect it and then connect it again to ensure that it's the com port you are uh, noting down is correct so yeah it's com 14 so once that is confirmed we can open the command prompt and here we have to first install the pip and for that you have to go to the ambisense project i'll leave the link in the description this is currently private but i'll make it public so this is radar control led, LED system uh, this is the name that i've given i hope you like it so uh, you have to go here and then you have to come down here and you can use the ESP flash tool, download tool, if you want to go with it. It's a UI based tool, uh, but I think the command is much more easier. So I'll use that. So first you have to install pip. And once the pip is installed, you can use this command and open command prompt as administrator. And install the ESP tool. Now I have already installed it. So this is showing requirement satisfied. So once the ESP tool is installed, you can go ahead 
and click on MB Sense version 1 release and download these three files. Just click on it and choose a location where you want to save it. For example, I'll keep it in the downloads. MB Sense. I'll save this bin file first, bootloader. Then there's a partition bin file. I'll save it. And then there's a ESP32 main file. Now we have all three files now. So we'll go back again to the repository. And here we'll come down. And this says that you have to go to this path. So of course, that's why we created that folder. So what we'll do is we'll go to that path. So we are already in our, our user directory. From here, we can go to CD downloads, MB sense. And now that we are in MB sense, we can type the command DIR to see the files that are there. So these are the files. Now there's one more command that you have to run and that is this. Just copy it, right click to paste it. Now just one little change. Do not change the name or anything in here. You have to keep everything just like that. This is a board name, com port. So since we have confirmed that we have this detected at com14, we'll use that and we will then flash this. So by the way, currently the project supports only ESP32 C3 Super Mini. So you will have to bear with me. If you want support for other boards as well, let me know in the comments down below and I'll share the compiled file with you. So we just changed the com port here. That's, that's all we have to do once we are into that directory and press the enter key. And this is going to flash it. This is flashing it right away. It takes a few seconds only and this is done. Now you can just go to your phone, open it up and you will see a Wi-Fi AP called MBSense. This is right here. Uh, you can just go to your Wi-Fi setting and connect to the MBSense. The password is 12345678. Very simple. Once connected, you will see that this is connected and then you can go to go back to the web browser where you can go to 192.164.4.1 and then you can change for example the number of leds the minimum and maximum distance and the led colors also you can change the brightness and the moving light span the moving light span is number of leds you want to light up while you are moving away or towards it now once that is done you can click on save settings and once the settings are saved you can see the real time distance below this so this is the current distance so this is the current distance that you can see and as i said you can adjust all these settings now the version 2 will bring a lot many settings and there will be a menu system right here and there will be a third version also that i've thought of which we will connect directly to our wi-fi network and we will be able to control it from anywhere but that is also going to work with or without wi-fi so we'll keep that functionality of working without wi-fi also and to be able to configure it but let me know what more features that you would like to have on this project the ambisense project uh, I'll be more than happy to include those if I get enough requests for that particular feature or a similar feature. So that was all in this video guys. I hope you like this project where we successfully build this uh, device that needs this. This is like a $5 device and this you can buy for like $10 or maybe $15 somewhere around that. It's a very cheap but very cool project that you can install in your home and enjoy those effects at a very reasonable price and doing it by yourself gives you a level of satisfaction as well. Now I wanted to build this project for a very long time. This time I got enough time to work on it to develop this web app as well which is highly intuitive and as I said if you want more features let me know through the comments down below and please like this video and subscribe to my channel for to get more updates on this project useful projects upcoming projects that you will see on this channel so make sure you subscribe and if you like my efforts because this doing all of this takes a lot of time you can support me by saying thanks so yeah this was all in this video thank you for watching i'll see you in my next